Hey guys, tell your hair and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm coming at y'all with another quick fragrance review. Today we are going to be talking about the newest fragrances from Forever Mood by Jackie Aina. I'm so excited for today's video. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, then go ahead and please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video. And follow me on instagram but with that being said let's jump right into the video all right you guys so forever mood by jackie anna launched four fragrances and i was able to get three off the four y'all when i say these fragrances sold out so fast they sold out so fast so i'm still waiting for the other one to come back in stock once it does i will share my thoughts in another video but in the meantime let's talk about the three that i have today i think these fragrances are reasonably priced you can get the 50 ml bottles for 79 dollars which is what i have or you can get the 10 ml travel sizes for 28 dollars i think that is a great price point and if you pick it up right now while the sephora savings event is currently going on you can get an additional discount on top of this $79 but I feel like this is a great price so this is what the packaging looks like I've heard mixed reviews about the packaging but me I like it I think it looks like a big diamond and I think the packaging is like great quality glass it doesn't feel cheap to me at all I think it even looks better in person than it does on pictures first one that I'm going to talk about is the scent I am her forgot to show you guys what the box looks like but the box says I am her never had to show out i just show up this is described as a warm and sweet gourmand and then the keynotes for this fragrance is red velvet pear and oud you guys i really want to see like the entire notes breakdown of this fragrance because it is the one that is the trickiest for me it's a little bit harder to describe like right now i'm smelling it when I first spray this fragrance, it is like a burst of something fresh, kind of like a berry scent. I don't, it smells really good. I don't get like a red velvet type of vibe from it when I first spray it. But as it begins to dry down, that berry, it's still there, but it's a lot lighter. I do feel like this is not a beast mode fragrance. It's not anything heavy at all. It's a very light feminine kind of scent. But the thing with this one is that it has oud and pear in it. And I think when it dries down, you start to get a little bit more of that sweetness, a little bit more of that cakeness or that red velvet cake in the bottom. It starts to become a lot sweeter but the oud is there. If you do not like oud, I don't see you liking this fragrance. It smells really good. I'm not a huge fan of oud. I will say it's not a strong beast mode kind of scent, but the oud is there. I feel like this collection, based on what I've tried so far, there is something here for everybody, and you'll see what I mean as I talk about each fragrance. But this one is for the girl that loves a sweet scent. She still wants something that isn't too heavy, but she still wants something that is going to make a statement, which is what you are going to to get from the oud it's not a super strong oud but it's there it's a very soft type of oud but it's there like you're gonna smell it it is a really really nice scent and i think this is a great great like beginner scent if you're just getting into ouds as i said i'm not a huge fan of oud and i do find this very bearable it is a gorgeous gorgeous scent but i'm still on the fence about this one let me know your thoughts if you've tried this and i think the reason why i'm on the fence about this one even though it is a gorgeous scent is because of the oud and ouds are very new to me so on my skin once it dries down and that juicy fluffy aspect of it kind of dies down it kind of lays in the back i'm getting too much off the oud and for some people it might not be too much and for some people it will not be enough but for me someone who is not a huge fan of oud like that's all I'm getting. I'm getting too much off the oud, if that makes sense. The way she describes this fragrance, if you see the scent description, it is an it girl fragrance, but you just have to like, like you're that girl. Like I am her. That's how I feel about this fragrance. It is like a statement of a fragrance, but it's also like quiet luxury, if that makes sense. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent, but you have to like certain notes to enjoy this fragrance. So even though you're gonna get that gourmand side of it, you still have to be prepared for that oud. 
like you still have to be prepared for that dubai luxury that's what you're getting from this fragrance it is gorgeous though but i have to tell you guys the oud is there so prepare yourself okay y'all so the next one that i have is nda the box says i'll take you for everything you have and this is exactly what this fragrance is going to do this is in the spicy gourmand scent type and the keynotes for this fragrance is spiced rum tonka bean and tobacco flower i think this one is my favorite so far this is for the vanilla girls like this smells divine you guys at first when i sprayed this fragrance i was like Mm, I don't know how I feel but then I took a shower and I was like okay let me try this again with like fresh skin nothing on my skin and I sprayed this on and I was like yeah mm -hmm. this smells so good the rum in here is not like a super boozy kind of rum when you first spray this on you get a nice freshness but then once it starts to dry down you guys it is a sweet vanilla -y kind of rum when I say so beautiful you guys and then that tonka bean starts to come out and the tobacco flower in here once again it's not like a smoky kind of tobacco this is not a heavy dense beast mode kind of scent it is a very mellow tobacco like just the tobacco leaf it's just here to ground the fragrance out this smells divine when you hear of spicy fragrances or fragrances with rum or tobacco or that side type of scent you kind of think of Killian Angel Share or Invite Only from Kiali, but this fragrance is not that at all. This is a very smooth fragrance. I love both of those fragrances, but I think this one is a lot more wearable than those other fragrances. This one, you are going to get a very soft rum, a very soft type of tobacco, not smoky at all, just a very sweet sexy kind of fragrance very mellow y'all this is gorgeous 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 if you own killian angel share you know you can only wear that fragrance during the holidays during certain times of the year because it's so spicy and so boozy this one not at all i do think that you can reach for this whenever because it's so smooth don't get me wrong this is not a dupe for killian angel share but i'm just comparing it based off like a boozy scent or something that is like smoky this is so gorgeous you guys it smells divine and that vanilla and tonka it really really comes through this one is a 10 out of 10 please try this one out don't let the rum or the tobacco flower fool you this is a gorgeous gorgeous vanilla scent i can see this layering so well with kiali vanilla 28 i can see this layering so well with spiritus double vanille from um Guerlain. you know what i can see this layering really well with wow i have the perfect layering combo that one just came to mind vanilla bourbon from mix bar and this chef's kiss i can see the two going so great together to really pull out more of that sweet rum and vanilla pick this one up this is a 10 for me as for layering combos with i am her jackie Ina mentioned layering this with young pistachio from kelly and that's kind of different i'm going to have to play with it and see because as i said this is the one that is i'm kind of on the fence with so i don't know what to layer this with probably something with like a heavy pear note something that is going to bring out the sweeter side probably vanilla 28 probably the wedding silk from kayali something like that let me know what you would layer this one with but i definitely use something that is going to kind of push the oud a little bit farther in the back and bring out the sweeter side and then the last one that i have is you remind me and the box says you felt that too yeah it's so good you guys the scent type for this is fresh florals and the keynotes is apricot skin orange blossom and sensual musk y'all no i love a good freshy you guys know that one of my favorite notes when it comes on to like a fresh floral scent is orange blossom uh-huh and this is done right if you are able to go in store and smell this i'd say spray it on your skin instead of spraying it on paper when i sprayed it on paper i wasn't like picking up too much it didn't really smell like anything but when i sprayed it on my skin yeah this is giving this is how i smell 
this is giving fresh out of the shower this is giving i don't have anything on this is just me it's how i smell this is one that i see myself wearing to work a lot or just lounging around the house when you want to put something on but kind of pretend like you're not wearing anything like this is just how you smell this is what you reach for it is a gorgeous 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 scent I definitely get the orange blossom I definitely get the apricot that's kind of what is giving it that juicy sweeter side when I say juicy I don't mean like a Eden juicy apple juicy like a very sophisticated kind of juicy like a very sexy kind of juicy the musk in here is very very smooth a nice musk not sharp at all it has a kind of soapy a little bit fresh laundry type of smell to it but in the best way possible it literally smells like clean skin expensive clean skin when i say laundry i don't mean like your basic laundry it smells very expensive it is a gorgeous gorgeous skin scent if you are a clean girl you're looking for something soft to wear quiet luxury this is it this smells divine I want to layer this with my apricot body cream from Josie Maron I'll try it and then report back I also want to layer this with my civil orange perfume oil from nest and see if that's gonna pull out a little bit more of the orange blossom but I can see this being a great spring and summer scent just on those days that you want something simple not doing too much you just want something light work but you still want to make a statement this is a gorgeous gorgeous skin scent this is going to be a great one to wear to work this is going to be great to wear to the gym great for like lounging around the house to be the safest of the three that I've tried this is going to be an easy reach for a lot of people because I do think that this is one that you can dress up and dress down um, just from what I have in my collection I can see this going with like the wedding silk from Kaoli just to add a little bit more like sweetness or to make it like into a date night scent if I want to wear it on a date um, I can see this going great with like the silver orange for something to wear to work you can wear it on its own if you want to wear it to the gym just a very versatile fragrance this was the first one that I wore and I layered it with Eden from Kaoli chef's kiss and i can also see it going really well with lychee from kaoli if you're looking for a very simple easy to reach fragrance i think this is going to be a great one put this up there with my dama bianca not dupes but in terms of like clean girl soft girl feminine era type of fragrance that's where i'd put this one it is a gorgeous 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 scent but that is everything that i have not a super long video but my final thoughts i'd say my favorite so far is nda and then my number two is you remind me and i'm still on the fence with i am her i will have to lure this a little bit and see but so far i'm definitely keeping these two i'm not sure about i am her as yet if you've Try this collection let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below once the scent hard to get comes back in stock then i'll let you guys know what i think in another video but so far i'd give this collection a 10 out of 10 for one i feel like it's very affordable two i personally really like the packaging and three i think there is something here for everybody even though i'm still on the fence with i am her i do feel like there's somebody out there who is going to love that fragrance i do feel like there's something for the freshy the girl that loves the freshy so the girl that wants something a little bit sweeter a little bit more spicy there is something there for everybody and you honestly cannot beat this price point i love it and i cannot wait to see what else jackie aina and forever mood is going to come out with and i think this was a great first launch for fragrances from her brand i know that this is just the beginning of something great from forever mood and i'm loving it let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below i will have all of these fragrances linked down below for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed once again don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye